An SCA foundation has launched a donation match initiative to raise $200,000 for the Professional Women's Hockey Players Association. Now, the foundation has committed to match donations that support the advancement of a viable pro women's hockey league. You love to see it. The donations will support the PWHPA's Dream Gap Tour as well as grassroots programs designed specifically for girls. Mark Messier and Mary Kay Messier, who is a senior advisor to the PWHPA, join us on the show now. I wanted to dive right into the initiative, but Mark, the backdrop can't be ignored. Uh, it looks fake. I understand you're in the Bahamas. Uh, what are you doing out there? Just enjoying life? Well, I, I have a small uh, boutique hotel uh, here in the, on Harbor Island called Runaway Hill Inn. And uh, I, I, I got it in uh, 2003. It's been a labor of love. We've had a lot of great times with our family here. And uh, I spend uh, uh, time on and off here, but we're getting ready for the busy season coming up for March uh, Madness. So uh, I'm here doing a little bit of work, actually. <laughs> all right. Well, hey. We'll, we'll take your word for it. Yeah. Hey, listen. <laughs> you, do, you have to go to all different places to do good work. Sometimes they're also not nice all, places. Not all work, though. There not you go. All, work. all right. Well, listen, I've talked to that Mark Messier enough in my career. So I, I want to ask Mary Kay Messier something, uh, something a little different today. Mary Kay, give me your thoughts on, on this uh, Professional Women's Hockey Players Association and how important it is for the growth of the women's game. Yeah, thanks so much for having me on. Uh, I think the, uh, you know, the PWHPA is so important. It's about trying to secure a professional league for the best players in the world and why that trickles down into, uh, you know, developing players at all levels, at all ages is that we know that uh, girls need role models to look up to. It's uh, if you see it, you can be it. And, uh, you know, these women are incredible mo role models for these girls to aspire to and also to aspire to the many careers throughout hockey, whether that's playing professional or, you know, being uh, a coach or, or, you know, working in marketing um, or in broadcasting like yourself. So uh, it's just a tremendous opportunity to develop female hockey rate right from the pro league all the way down to beginners. Uh, Mark, uh, I'll ask you, um, you certainly had a flair for the dramatic. You appreciated the grand stage that MSG was. And how important is it for the women who are playing to get on these biggest stages, the brightest lights, the biggest rinks, and show how great they can be? Well, I think you just said it. It's the biggest stage in the world, the most iconic stage in the world. And for the girls to be able to get on there and showcase their talents. We've all seen where the women's game has gone over the last 10, 20 years. Uh, it's amazing, the skill level, the development, uh, the conditioning. Um, and to be able to get on the Madison Square Garden ice and legitimize uh, the women's game is a huge step in the right direction. I have to applaud uh, MSG, Jim Dolan, and everybody Rick Nadeau, the people behind MSG, and of course, uh, all the people responsible for taking the leap of faith and showcasing uh, a great uh, women's game at, at Madison Square Garden. Yeah, the Dream Gap Tour is something really special. As a girl who grew up playing hockey, it really is important for kids to be able to look at the television and be like, oh my gosh, there's women on television yeah. playing hockey, and it's not the Olympics. It's not yeah. once every four years. So uh, kudos on that. You know, Mary Kay, I'll ask you about these grassroots programs, which part of this money is, is going to go help create and fund. What types of grassroots programs do you think are important for girls that want to play hockey? Well, I think it's really all about uh, creating programming specifically for girls. So together with our initiative on our Grow the Game program with the NHL and the NHLPA, we know that if you offer programs in the right way, girls will come. Our registration is at 39%, <laughs> which really shows how, how you know they gravitate to it. So we're looking to develop programs that really are interesting to girls, that welcome them into the sport, in a way that's warm and inclusive and also fun. I mean, uh, that's why kids play sports is to have fun and be with their friends. So we'll partner up with the PWHPA and also other organizations that are doing great work like Black Girl Hockey Club and also I Play Like a Girl to make sure that we're offering programs that are in line with what kids want to do, girls specifically, and, and make it fun. Mark, uh, you've been involved with the Mark Messier Foundation for a while now. What is what is the mission of this foundation as you've continued to move forward with it? Has it changed over the years? What's the mission statement for you guys as you continue all this good work? Yeah, it's, it's, it's never really changed. Uh, it, it's always been about uh, trying to create access and opportunity for kids uh, 
You know, when we won the Stanley Cup in 1994, I think we transcended the game of hockey. The outreach was way past the normal fan. I think it really kind of brought in people that had never really heard about hockey because the storyline was so compelling. Uh, years later, uh, it was heartbreaking for these kids to, to find out uh, that uh, they weren't able to play hockey because they didn't have a rink to skate on. There was no access. There was no opportunity. Uh, when you're 12 years old in New York City there, you basically have to retire or your mom and dad have to be driving you all up to the suburbs in order to get ice time, which I don't think with three NHL teams in the, in the tri-state area there is, is a good, uh, is a, is a good uh, signal for, to, to grow the game. So, you know, we set out uh, many years, probably 10 years ago now, to uh, build the world's uh, largest indoor ice facility at the Kingsbridge Armory. Uh, that dream is uh, soon to become a reality. And once that is a reality, we're going to be able to give a lot more boys and girls in the metropolitan area, in the, in the, uh, sub, in the uh, boroughs like the Bronx, an opportunity to play hockey. The eye to eye uh, uh, part of the Messier Foundation has pro probably put over 4,000 kids through the Learn to Skate program, all in anticipation of uh, Kingsbridge coming online and giving those kids an opportunity to pick their favorite ice sport. It doesn't necessarily have to be hockey. It could be figure skating, synchronized skating, could be uh, any kind of ice sport, speed skating, short track, anything that you can think of on ice we'll have. And uh, we, we want a buffet, a, a menu of, uh, of ice sports to offer all the kids in the, in the metropolitan area. All right, Mary Kay, it takes funds, it takes support to get these programs up and running. Where can we go to donate so you guys can match as much money as possible? Yeah, and just before I tell you that, I just want to give a shout out to my brother. So proud of his contribution in here. We really felt like we were building a lot of momentum, but we really needed leadership. And I can't think of anyone better to go to than Mark. <laughs> Obviously, one of the uh, all sports greatest leaders, but also he's not bad at getting people to go along with the plan. So couldn't think of anyone better to yeah. step up. And, you know, as he's you said, okay. it's a match. He's OK. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a it's a match program and and for every dollar that anyone donates uh the mark messier foundation will match it so that's the beauty in this and you can go to the mark messier foundation.org backslash donate and whatever you can offer will be great we're also looking for people to show, share their stories and why it's so important to support girls in women's hockey all right, before I let you guys get away from me here, I gotta, I gotta have a little fun with you. Okay, now, Mary Kay, you know, your, your little kids growing up together in that house. I mean, was Mark walking around and like, you know, demanding excellence from everybody or if somebody didn't have the right meal, did he step in? I mean, what was going on in that Messier household? No, he was pounding me over over the TV. That was when you had to actually walk up to the TV and change the channels. <laughs> so uh, we're four kids in five years. I'm sure there was a, a fair amount of wrestling going on. But uh, I can tell you one thing. If we ever played street hockey, I was in net as the youngest of four. Oh, That's boy. about right. Yeah, yeah. Young one always gets stuck in net. That is universal <laughs> everywhere. Does not matter. Hey, there's no, no game if no, there's no mess. goalie. Someone's got to go in net. <laughs> That's it. Someone's got to go in there. You got to make for no someone in there. No mess. Listen, I know you have. You're busy with your in. You're busy with your charity. But I also know you keep a close eye on the Edmonton Oilers. And I'm always just curious now when you watch Dry Settle and McDavid up there in Edmonton and how great they are together. Do you ever think back about you and Gretz and, and how great you guys were together and how you managed to kind of work together to push each other while also achieving things together? And what are your thoughts when you watch Dry Sullivan McDavid going in Edmonton? Well, I think Wayne and I were, uh, were good together because we had the same uh, hopes and inspiration, aspirations uh, to win a Stanley Cup and, and do it uh, together. Uh, nobody uh, galvanized a team better than, uh, than Wayne with the way he treated people and his inclusiveness uh, from no matter if you were uh, uh, on the top of the totem pole on the team or all the way down into the training staff, into locker room tenants, everybody felt a part of the success of the team. And, I, you know, for me, uh, the Oilers uh, with, 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 with Connor and, and Leon, they obviously have, uh, you know, uh, some great chemistry on the ice. Uh, the, the, the true uh, uh, mark of, of, a, of a player and a great leader is how they're able to galvanize the team around them and make people around them better and make them include them into the success, uh, give them opportunities to be successful in their own right to gain the confidence that they'll need ultimately because, no, as good as Leon...
and uh, and Connor are, they can't win alone. They're going to need everybody to help. And one of the reasons why they're having success right now is that they're starting to get more help from the, throughout the lineup. Uh, the younger players are starting to contribute. But ultimately, in the end, uh, everybody's judged on whether you win or lose or not. And the most important factor, not only do they play well on the ice, but they're doing what it takes off the ice in the dressing room, galvanizing the team so everybody feels a part of it. Everybody's got a job to do, and then they can hold everybody accountable to those positions for the ultimate uh, 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 goal is to win, uh, for, to win the Stanley Cup. Yeah, championships over everything, and it's one of the reasons that I love hockey is that it, it really, truly is a team sport. No you doubt. cannot win no just by having the single best player right. on the ice. Listen, we really appreciate you guys taking the time to chat with us. Uh, I'm so excited for this Dream Gap Tour uh, yeah. this weekend. It's going to be so fun to watch. And a reminder, markmessierfoundation.org, I believe, is where you can go yeah. to make a donation. Thanks, guys. Uh, enjoy the Bahamas, uh, yes. Mark, but not too much. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to have my next margarita on your behalf and i i'm saving one for you guys when you get down here all right well we'll, we'll be there we're, soon. we're keeping your <laughs> word to that now you know that <laughs> hey, we're, we're open we're open <laughs> <laughs> we love that mary Kay. thanks to you thank as well you, mary we Kay. appreciate the time thank you so much you guys. thanks for having cheers. us cheers yeah all right, you can catch Sunday's Dream Gap Tour game right here on NHL Network, 7 o'clock Eastern time, puck drop from MSG. It's big time, and we are very excited. Oh, about yeah. It.